The Albert Lee City Council heard the first reading of the city ordinance amending a tobacco ordinance to include THC products tonight. This is just the first hearing, meaning it'll need to be discussed and approved at a future meeting as well. ABC 6 News reporter Mackenzie Davis joins us live from Albert Lee tonight, breaking down the details and more from what a local cannabis store owner hopes this ordinance evolves into in the future. Mackenzie. Yeah, James and Laura, this comes as the state of Minnesota legalized food and drinks containing THC derived from hemp. That law went into effect on July 1st. The state leaving it up to cities to come up with their own plans and put those ordinances into place. Now here in Albert Lee, they're in the process of adding edible cannabinoid products to its current tobacco ordinance. These cannabis products are limited to 5 milligrams of THC per serving, and you must be 21 years or older to purchase them. The city of Albert Lee will enforce these regulations in order to keep people safe. Additionally, the restrictions of age of possession were not included in the statute, only restrictions on the sale of persons to 21 uh, years of age or under, excuse me, under the age of 21. And local cannabis shop owner Jerry Collins has been working with the city to make sure the ordinance will keep everyone on the same page. But Collins is hoping in the future for the cannabis ordinance to be separate from the city's tobacco ordinance. I think they're distinctly different products. Um, and so we would like to see a standalone ordinance on it, um, you know, at least locally. And, uh, you know, preferably at the state house, you know, they're doing cannabis specific uh, statutes and laws. Collins says for his business and others, it gives them a bit more guidance on what they can and can't sell. And he adds that people should be buying their THC products from cannabis stores like his because it is safer and you know how much you're getting. Now, it may seem like you've been hearing about this over and over again for a while now because you probably have, again, this law went into effect on July 1st. But now cities, especially those right here in our area, are making sure they're just nailing down those details so they can get these ordinances put into place to keep everyone safe. James, Laura.